Hi, I'm Tom Stevenson, and welcome to my new YouTube channel. I'm a professor of construction management, and this is a series of videos and courses that I've done on YouTube. And I wanted to thank everybody. If you're new to the channel, you're not aware, but I've had millions of views and run a number of courses and have posted my courses on my playlist. And so I'm doing a series of overviews for those courses. So it makes it easier for people to follow along the courses because I've been getting a lot of comments and stuff. Could you help me? I'd like to have, I'd like to look at the PowerPoint slides. Is there any other resources? Uh, what's the exact order of everything. So I've tried to bundle it together in this video. I will have in the description below a link to Google Drive where you can download the PowerPoints that I used in the videos uh, and also a document where I've listed all the links to the videos and I'll also put in the description um, the links to the various videos. But you could also go to the playlist. So if you click on my face and you look at my playlist, you'll see all the different courses that I'm offering. Uh, and these are courses like I teach at the college and university level in construction, construction management. And this particular course that we're talking about today is one near and dear to my heart, which is residential construction. So I've produced about 28 videos for this course, and it covers a number of topics, which I'll just go over briefly here um, with you. So you can decide, is this the type of course that you're after? Or is this what you need to advance your career uh, in a lot of ways? And so let's let's take a look. So here we have a listing of the courses that I will be um, doing. Of course, this is 00, zero so this is the course introduction. There's 28 videos in total, so I have two slides with the different videos. And I kind of start off at the beginning of how we construct houses, so I do a little bit on zoning, permits, site plans and basically reading and interpreting site plans. I've got another playlist where I go through actually reading drawings in a lot of detail. So you can again check my playlist or more recent videos. You'll see the overview of that. Um, and then we start from the ground up, like looking at a house from the foundations and we run it through straight to the roof. So we look at custom homes like this one here, uh, where perhaps, you know, I live in a big uh, urban city so often we'll tear down a smaller house and we'll put a big house in its place because of property values I also talk about production building like in subdivisions where you're building hundreds of homes I'll come pair and contrast between custom homes and production homes and we'll look at all the different methodologies that are used technologies and how we frame houses some of the different methodologies that we use with framing where the markets are going and changing uh, engineered floors engineered trusses uh, the walls walls and floor connections how different things relate on drawings but also relate in the construction process, talk about constructability, how easy it is or hard it is to build things in certain styles and locations. Uh, all of these things kind of coming together. You know, this particular custom home is a brick veneer custom home. Some locations, brick isn't a thing. Other locations, it is. So we look at brick veneer. We look at wood uh, frame with like siding. We look at uh, basically custom homes with like EF systems, exterior insulated finished stucco systems, uh, and combinations of all of the above. This particular house has a mansard roof, for example and it's a custom home very high ceilings in this there's some zoning requirements that restrict overall height of the house so if the builders designed in a mansard that incorporates a roof system but also doesn't take away from the visual look of the house so there what's the logic behind things why are builders doing things how do you best coordinate and deal with trades and what are the different trades that you have to work with on your project so we talk about exterior finishes um, this particular house has a lot of precast on it some houses have a lot of eaf systems on it exterior insulated finish systems uh, the um, roofs we talk about the different materials i go through 
some sets of drawings just so that you have a good understanding of how to review them. And we talk about the building systems in depth and some of the things with energy efficiency and what's a net zero house and how are we dealing with climate change and adding insulation values and the building envelope and making it tight so that basically uh, we have less leakage through it and it's more efficient and why different insulation types and why you might use one insulation over another insulation um, from that perspective. I talk about the interconnection of between systems and building practices. Of course, we look at interior finishes. We talk about stairs and how stairs are laid out, uh, building code requirements and how we have to integrate and satisfy building code requirements is strewn throughout uh, the course. We also will uh, look at renovations and remodeling. So basically the renovation side of things. Uh, what some of the differences in construction practices that we have to think about because we're dealing with existing conditions. We have to uh, remove existing walls. We have to deal with some things that aren't great uh, like maybe floors that aren't level or walls that are not plumb. And how do we effectively deal with some of those things? We call we look at some of those things from the perspective of known knowns, known unknowns, and unknown unknowns, um, and trying to um, explore and discover those types of things. Because renovations, remodeling, it's just a, as big a market or bigger than new construction. Because anything that gets built starts to deteriorate as soon as it's built, and that becomes fodder for renovation work or whatever the style was it doesn't fit what that particular homeowner wants and so um, we renew it and so in construction that's a huge part of the marketplace as well residential construction um, talk about multi-units so basically building semis building townhouses building multi-story low-rise um, condominiums and how that is uh, becoming an important function in certain urban markets where land is very expensive and you know in North America we have a bit of a housing crisis and I think globally in a lot of cities we have um, housing crisis um, from that perspective so if you want a little bit of insight on that we go through that and then of course I kind of give a review over of everything that we discussed this was part of what I put together for a course that I was teaching at my college and so it's pretty thorough and it's a uh, like I said, it's an area that's kind of near and dear to my heart because I've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, my background is I was a carpenter, brick and stone mason, grew up in a family run business, had to run the business for a number of years and then kind of did all the business stuff, the MBA and all of those things later on. But I can effectively tie the business side to the construction side pretty well, having dealt with most of the trades that uh, I discuss in this particular um, course and the process. And then I've had the good fortune of working with some of North America's biggest um, builders and helping train and develop their people over the last few decades. Um, so that, that should come through as well. And we want to think about our buildings as a system. And so we need to make sure that everything is integrating very well. In the foundation section, um, you know, I talk about underpinning a particular house, like how you underpin a house, lower the basement so that you can have higher ceilings. In an old house, the ceiling might be like six foot five or six foot four very low and then you got ductwork that brings it even lower well how do we lower the floor in a building like that without having the building collapse like what is the process there and in the insulation section we talk about different types of insulation in this case we've got a foam insulation that's sprayed on the interior walls this is actually a semi so it's got a really kind of um, interesting kind of uh, underpinning that uh, situation that went on. So there's a lot of different things that I unpack and we look at and basically coordination of things like your plumbing, like your HVAC, like your electrical systems is very important as well. So that basically when we finish the project, we don't have any unnecessary bulkheads. Uh, we have everything where we want it as far as outlet boxes. And uh, we're actually delivering a top-notch product to our clients. 
Now, on the last um, slide here, I have written a textbook on this subject. You know, you don't need it for this course to review the, the drawings. It's, it's um, fine. Um, but I have, in case anybody's like wanting to dive into it. The other one is this Canadian wood frame house construction that I refer to a lot. And if you actually search this online, I won't put a link because they always change the links, but it's always available for free online. And it's really good in the sense that it's got a lot of images and photos and if you struggle with a certain part of it, it really explains things pretty well. Um, so I, I would highly recommend, given it's a free download, um, highly, highly recommend that as well as part of you know the offering for uh, this course. And like I said, I'll have the PowerPoint slides in a uh, description below this video and you can download from that link all of the uh, course materials and then enjoy follow along follow the the videos as they come up like i said they're on the playlist or they'll be in the description or they'll be part of that download all right so i'll be posting future uh overviews i've already posted one for microsoft project and for print reading and for an introduction to construction course this is my residential course plan to also put up for my construction business management my cost control and my people and culture hr course and so hopefully that's helpful if you enjoy this and you enjoy the series please subscribe it really helps the channel and um, leave me a comment you know why you're wanting to get into residential construction what what a little bit about your background that's always wonderful so i'm tom stevenson wishing you a wonderful day and we'll see you out there bye for now